Hey guys, Portia here and I am back again with another DTF video. I've had the opportunity to try the DTF transfer film with uh, sublimation as well as inkjet. Now the last time I did it on inkjet, I used a black cotton t-shirt. It gave us a monochromatic look. I just wanted to go for something brighter. So this time I am gonna use the inkjet printer, but I'm going for a brighter look on a white t-shirt. So let's go ahead and jump All right, right guys, in. So I'm over at my inkjet printer and first things first, let's check out our film. So there is a right and a wrong side to print on when it comes to the film. We have a matte side and we have a glossy side. Now we do not want to print on the glossy side. We want to print on the matte side. This is the side that's going to hold our ink. So I'm going to just go ahead, put my paper in facing me in our inkjet printer and let's go ahead and print. All right, y'all, let's head back over to the work table. So guys, this image is one of my absolute favorites. I got it from Etsy a few years back. Um, I got the uh, image from there and then I went in and just added butterfly on the uh, side there because I just wanted to put some words there. But the thing to note, when you get this off of the printer, please do not touch your print because it will smear. The ink is living, like literally sitting right on top of the film. So if you touch it, you are going to ruin your work. And so you don't want to do put down some parchment paper here to be able to collect the extra um, DTF powder adhesive that we do not use. So we're just going to go ahead and evenly coat our image to ensure that the powder gets all over everything. I always use a little too much, but that is okay. So I'm gonna start at the corner here. And all I really wanna do is just slowly begin to remove the powder so that it sticks everywhere that there is ink. All right, and I think that looks pretty good. I don't think I'm missing any stuff. All right, guys, so we are over at the press, and here is our nicely coated image. And at this point, what we have to do to the image is cure it. So what curing means is that we are going to place this on the press, and I have adjusted my press down so that it'll hover over the image but not touch it. It needs to be close to the heat source in order to melt the powder and so like the the powder becomes like a gel like consistency and once it melts and the color comes back through we'll know that it's ready and so I have my heat press set to about 320 and I have found that if I set the press at 320 for three minutes that that setting tends to work for me let's see so we're going to let that go for three minutes. Hopefully all of the powder is melted and then we'll be able to move on to the all next right. step. It looks like we are all good. So what we see here is that the color has come back through. All of the powder is melted. So I don't really see any shimmer from the powder anymore. So now I know that our image is ready to press on the shirt. So let's prepare for that. All right, guys, so we are set at 320 degrees. I already have my shirt on the press. I have lint rolled it. Um, and also, I just did that one press to make sure we ain't got no moisture in there. Also, I have a sheet of Teflon in here just to ensure that the image does not bleed onto the back side. Here's our image. I'm gonna eyeball it. Don't wanna move it around too much, although the powder is covering the ink. I still don't wanna do that. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of parchment paper to cover the top. And we are gonna do this first press again at 320 degrees and we are going to go for 30 seconds. 
All right. Looks pretty good, guys. So we are going to allow this to cool off um, and then we'll peel and then we'll do a second press and that second press is going to be to really to solidify the ink into the fabric. So let's just let that cool off for now. We are now cool to the touch. So let's get to peeling. Very nice, ooh. Okay, so as I mentioned, we are going to do a second press cover. Now the second press is still going to be at 320, but this one is only gonna be for 15 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. And then when we come back, we'll take a look at our finished Finish. All right, y'all, check her out um, in all her glory. I am loving the look. So when it comes to DTF powder, not only is it easy to use with this particular hack, it's also fun. That's why I've actually <laughs> done so many different projects with it. Now, one thing I love is the feel of it. So it doesn't feel like it's just floating on top of the... Uh, material it does feel like it's a part of the fabric so like when we go to stretch it it is stretchable you don't have to worry about like losing your image I have had an opportunity to wash both the inkjet as well as the sublimation DT um, DTF hack and they wash up really well though I've only washed one time but um, it did wash well and when I took it out of the cold wash it was um it was still whole and of course the wash was after 24 hours but yeah guys this is all i have for you today i just wanted to share with you all my experience with using the dtf products on a white cotton t-shirt there will be a link to all of the 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 powder as well as the film down there in the description along with a discount so you can guys you guys can go check that out but guys as always until next time peace